Hello, my name is Sonia, and this is video number 10 in my series, The Basics of Crochet. And today we're going to start learning about decrease stitches. And as you see, I have a little card right here. And you see the abbreviation DEC. And I have a slash here with another abbreviation TOG. Um, these are actually the same. It's just a different name. So DEC stands for decrease. TOG stands for together. So if you were reading a pattern, and today we're going to learn about single crochet decreases or together stitches first. So if you were reading a pattern and it would want and if it wanted you to make a decrease stitch, it would either say SC, which you know stands for single crochet, and then it would either have DEC or TOG, which stands for de decrease or together. It's the same thing. So if your pattern says SC DEC, which is single crochet decrease, um, it's a decrease stitch. If it says SCTOG, it's still a de decrease stitch. Uh, some people um, write them as together stitches. I learned them as um, decrease stitches. But just so, I just wanted to clear that up so you know that it's the same thing. So uh, the previous video we learned about increasing. Now we're learning about decreasing. And decreasing is just a little bit more involved than increasing. Increasing, it's the same stitch. You're just putting more in there. We're decreasing, um, it's just a little bit different. So today I'm using um, an eye hook or a 5.5 millimeter hook. Again, you can use an H or a G hook. I have my worsted weight yarn in a light color. So we're going to learn about single crochet decreasing or single crochet together stitches today. And we are going to start with um, a row of 10 single crochet and we're going to work on decreasing it um, let's see, uh, by two, so down to four. So to start with, we need to work a chain. So we're going to chain 11. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. So we have our 11 chains, and we're just going to work across a single crochet regular single crochet stitches across our chain so that we have 10. So we insert our hook in the second chain from our, our, our hook and we work a single crochet stitch. So there's, whoops, I guess it helps if you keep the hook in your loop. There's our first one, second one, so number three, and just keep going across your chain and then we will start decreasing on our second row. And this is good practice too with the basic crochet stitches. Um, single crochet is a basic crochet, basic crochet stitch that um, you should know how to do if you want to become more skilled in crocheting. Alright, so it's our last one. Do a quick count to see if we have 10. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So we're ready for row 2, and this is the row we're going to start decreasing. So decreasing means to make less. So we're going to chain 1 and we're going to turn just like normal. We're going to work one single crochet in our first stitch, and then the next one we are going to work our first decrease stitch. So when you're working decrease stitches or also called together stitches you're going to be working in two stitches and turning them into one. So to start that you're going to insert your hook just like normal for crochet stitch do a yarn over pull up a loop you have two loops on your hook then you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop and you'll have three loops on your hook. You're going to do a final yarn over and you're going to pull through all three of these loops. So just like so. And you have made your first single crochet decrease stitch. So you'll see these two stitches have been turned into one. So we're going to go across and our next stitch is going to be a regular single crochet stitch. So again, I like symmetry, so we're going to make this symmetrical. And we're going to keep working across till we get to 
the third to the last stitch. So let's see, one, two, three. So we need to work one more. And we're going to do another decrease stitch. So again, we're going to turn these two stitches right here, and you can turn it on its side. You can see it looks like a chain. So there's one, two. These two guys we're going to turn into one stitch. So again, you're going to insert your hook right there, yarn over, pull up your loop. You have two loops on your hook. Then you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, you have three loops. We'll do a final yarn over and you're going to pull through all three. And now you've combined those two stitches into one. And then you're going to work your final crochet stitch or single crochet stitch in your last stitch. And now we should have eight stitches. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we have eight. So we started with ten and now we have eight. So we're going to keep going till we have four. So we're going to do a chain one, turn our work, single crochet into the next one, or I mean in the first stitch there. Now we're going to combine these two stitches to turn them into one. So you're going to insert your hook yarn over, pull up your loop, you have your two loops, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, you have your three loops on there, and yarn over, pull through all three, and now we've made our single crochet decrease stitch or single crochet together stitch. We've combined these two stitches and made them into one, and we're going to keep going till we get to the third of the last stitch. So one more here, and we're going to do another decrease stitch. And this is a basic stitch that you should know. Um, decrease stitches are often used, again, in shaping. So we're going to pull through all three. Um, you would use them um, in hats, uh, clothing items, if you like to make stuffed animals. So they're used quite a bit, or for decorative stitches. Okay, so now we should have six stitches, and let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we are going to do one more row to get practice with decreasing. So we'll do chain one, turn, flip our work, and you can see it's starting to shrink up a little bit, creating a shape. So we're going to single crochet right here in the first stitch, and then we're going to decrease when the next two guys right here. So you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull up your loop, two loops, insert your hook into the next one, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops, and we're going to yarn over and pull through all three. And again, we've taken these two stitches and turned them into one. So we wanted to work a decrease in the third to the last stitch, so we're already there. So we're going to do another decrease stitch right here. It says we want to end up with four is our final stitch count and then single crochet in our last stitch. And we should see, we'll see if we have four. So there's one, two, three, four. So that is how you do a single crochet decrease or a single crochet together stitch. So as you can see, um, we've made four rows. So our first row here. We started with 10, then we decreased by 2, so then we have 8, decreased by 2 again, we have 6, decreased by 2 again for the fourth row, and we have 4 stitches. So we went from 10 stitches to 4. Thank you so much for watching.